Hey guys, and welcome back to the Fans Perspective. In today's video, we're on the way to the London Stadium to watch West Ham United versus Bristol City. Sixth in the Premier League versus 11th in the Championship. Bristol City have only just one of their last 15 meetings against Premier League opposition in the FA Cup. I'll let you guess who it is. Give you a second. If you got it, it was Huddersfield United in 2018-19. Since then, obviously, they've not beaten the Premier League side, so the odds are against them. It is 7-1 to, to Bristol City, around 2-5 to five for the Hammers. They're the clear favourites of the Premier League side. They're pushing for Europe and, well, they're doing amazing on all fronts. David Moyes has never lost to Bristol City. I put the question to you guys, and after 835 of you voted, 74% of you think the Hammers are going to go through. Let's see if the Robinson soar into the next round. We are in the home end today. Tyler did get an away ticket, did sell it to be with us in the home end. Cheap tickets as well so it should be a good cup tie. I did go to Shell's last night but I didn't record it. It's the first game in about three years I've been to and not recorded so it was a bit different. A massive win for the Shell so that was great. Finn is with me with the 9-0 himself so that should be a good content for you guys. Tyler the drummer is here today. Sadly he's not as good as drum because he's not at Shell. And we got a few of us so I'll try and get some score predictions for you as we go on our way to the ground. I personally think that it should be a close game but let's make our way to the ground. Yeah. Before we do go to our seat, so Tyler is in a slightly different section, so just quickly, we're talking on. What's the score for itself? Swap. We go 4 3 to City. 4 3 City. Big goal scoring game. He obviously wants it to be a draw so he can go to a replay as well. But yeah, just quickly as well, big Finley Donaldson. Uh, 4 3 uh, West Ham. 4 3 West Ham. Yeah, well, it looks a very strong squad, so there's a lot of goals in it, but I'm going to say I think Bristol City will have fight. Obviously, a new manager, new manager bands will be playing really well, apart from the game against Birmingham. Like I guess there's going to be a lot of goals. 3-1 to the Hammers. And just like that then, we are at the seats. The lineups are as follows. It seems that they're so they've gone strong. They've got Bell, they've got Conway, they've got Metty. They've got a lot of players that can cause West Ham damage. But what have the Hammers done? Pack is back. They've got full strength. Paqueta, they've got Bowen, they've got Kurzuma, who I think is one of the most underrated centre-backs at the Premier League has seen for many years. His middle name's happy, and let's hope he's gonna have a happy day today. The Bristol City have come in their numbers and city. They seem very loud. You can imagine they'll be like that for all of the game. It's a big away day for them. But like I said, West Ham have gone strong. They are the favourites for this guy for the booking so they're the favourites for this guy for you guys. And it looks like everyone on Twitter thinks it's gonna be a whitewash. Let's see how it goes. I'm saying 3-1 the Hammers. The players are about to come out. Let's see how it goes. Had a shot and goal. Good save for the goalkeeper, even though it was straight at him. Proper palm stinger. Oh. A fairy tale return of the Brazilian Magnifico in a wanted Paqueta being hooked off early through injury. But more importantly, can we just go back to that missed goal kick? He's trying to hit a barn door. How has he hit the goalkeeper? Completely scuffed it. It's almost like he's gone for a no look. Oh. 
City defender, obviously doing the safety awareness test. Just got to check your keepers awake every once in a while. I'm sorry, though. Come on. There has been some fight by the away side, and they've been getting in good positions. Uh, it's, it's really been poor for the West Ham defence, to be honest. Emerson Real has played pretty decent, but I'd probably have to say the player of the match so far has to be Kurt Zuma. He's dealt with more loose balls and a cleaner at driving range. So we have it then, 45 minutes played, West Ham 1, Bristol City 0. Then the away side, they've come in their numbers, but there hasn't been really much to shout about. The people that have done the most work in that first half have to be the medical team. I thought I'd be at a Stone Island meeting, the amount of people that had gone down and got patched up. It seems hopefully there'll be some more subs in the second half because Pakatai is a big loss for West Ham. Obviously only just coming back in after one loss of injury. Luckily he was walking off though, so it didn't look like the biggest knock, but it's still a knock nonetheless. I feel like Bristol City, as the game went on, they did grow into it. They had many chances, but it was a bit like TGF. They just didn't know what to do when they got near the edge of the box. They kept trying to win the ball in, but nothing was really happening. Fabianski has got his gloves to a few things. So Flappy hands, he has been in ball flow, but like I say, it's only been one goal. Hope there'll be more in the second half. And with that being said, it's playing right there. Let's get to it. City have been pinning the hammers back, a great ball across the box, the defenders can't deal with it, and you've got to have the minerals at the back post, get your fuck around it, yeah he's forgotten all that, he's toe poked it into the stands. Back to level, pegging West Ham and pegged back the entire half, and finally Bristol City have been able to get on the score sheet. It was that man again, he always is right at the right man, in the right place, right time for Bristol City. It was a good finish as well, and Jesus Christ, those limbs, that's generational. The entire half of the stadium is rocking, they're still going and rightly so. It's a big trip for a big day out, and they are performing up to the standard. Of the pitch, they should be back in front. What a miss! He's always got to get his, he can get anything on it, and it goes to the back of the net. He's missed it, and they've just tried a ludicrous shot from a strange angle as well. But it's still one all. Big corner for West Ham now, change the momentum. Tell neither side won that replay. They want that goal to go ahead. It's end to end football. Both sides have had chances, but the keeper seems to save on field day. Oh. Use the punch to Kurt Zuma, so but that header was just whisking wide. We have seen a third goal of the game. It is 2 1 Bristol City, 10 minutes to go, but yeah, the linesman puts his flag up, so it doesn't mean anything. Zuma's done well to kick that one out. Is it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I believe what I've just seen. Fair play to the goalkeeper for the first save. Simon up for the Hunger Games for that great reaction save, but it's fallen to a Premier League proven goal scorer. And he's in the side netting. No, even he can believe in this. And that is it then guys, full time at West Ham United 1, Bristol City 1. You can tell by our predictions and our reactions, we didn't think Bristol City had it in them, but the City boys left everything on the pitch and got the job done. Emphatic performances, not just by the players, but the fans as well. So many West Ham United fans were saying that it is the best away fans they've seen come to their gaff and they are rocking 9 
thousand strong reacted to that Tommy Conway goal. What a finish it was, what a pass it was, and it is definitely limbs of the week. I must say, I really enjoyed the game. It was amazing to see both the lads as well coming up for the football. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live. And drop a comment down below, what did you guys think of the game? Yeah, it was a great one for me. There's so much more content coming out, obviously, very shortly. I do have an exam coming up and a little bit of work with some other sports. This next week or so, but I will get back to the football as soon as I possibly can. And I've got a few things booked in for you, so don't you worry. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Let's go, let's go.